my name is Catherine Bertrand, but everyone calls me Katie, and I am currently a third year medical student at Fitz University. I got into medicine through the GIMP program. So um, today I'm just going to share with you my story about how I did that. Uh, so I decided when I was in grade seven that I wanted to study medicine and I wanted to become a doctor. So from then on, I worked really, really hard throughout my high school career to do well academically. Um, I was also told that um, for medicine, the universities aren't only interested in your marks. They also want to see that you are a well-rounded student. So um, I was involved in a few bands and some orchestras um, in my high school. I played sports and at the end of the day, I matriculated and I had an average of 83. So not really competitive enough to get in for medicine uh, straight out of matric. So I decided that I would do plan B, which was to study a Bachelor of Health Sciences um, in the Biomedical Science um, track at Wits University because it was the next best thing. And um, so I, I did that. I, I'm from uh, Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape. So I packed up my life in a suitcase and I moved to Joburg, which was quite daunting. Um, but I was very excited because I thought that this was step one of um, getting closer to my dream. So um, <laughs> first year was a, a huge shock for me. Um, I remember I got 27% for my first ever physics test and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to pass this year, never mind, um, pass this degree and then get into medicine. So I was very stressed. I think also um, my, being my first year away from home, I was very homesick and I was trying to adjust to res life and um, that first physics test just really like knocked me. So I decided, okay, I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can and so that if, the, if at the end of the year I don't pass, I can look at my mom and dad in the eye and be like, I'm really sorry, I worked as hard as I could, there was literally nothing more I could do. So as soon as we got those physics test results, I cried and then I was like, okay, what are we going to do? So I, um, I spoke to um, a lot of older people um, at RES and I tried to get advice from them and so um, I decided that every Saturday there were um, extra physics classes happening at main campus for three hours. So every Saturday I went to main campus for extra physics with Duminal. I went to um, Dr. Love um, whenever there was a practice um, and I went to all the ADPs even though, though they were recommended for people that hadn't done physics in high school. Um, I went anyway because I, I just wanted the extra practice and um, Basically, I ended the year with a 65 for physics, which was mad because the whole year I was just praying for 50. And um, so that was a really nice um, confidence boost. And then I went on to second year and that was um, but, uh, that was uh, anatomy, physiology and molecular medicine. So I was really excited to be doing subjects that were more um, medically inclined. I felt like uh, first year was kind of like a grade 13 with all the subjects that we did. Um, that being said, second year is a really tough year. Um, I felt like I coped better emotionally with it because um, I was getting used to being away from home, so I was less homesick. Um, I really enjoyed the dissections. It was a really an amazing opportunity to learn. Um, so yeah, I didn't do too great in second year, but I managed to pass it comfortably. And then I decided for my third year that I was going to major in physiology because I really enjoyed it in second year. And I thought that, you know, if I get into medicine, having majored in physiology will only add to my knowledge and hopefully help me in my medical degree. So I did that and I really enjoyed third year. There was so much more time. The lectures were in eight to five, like we were used to in first and second year. And yeah, I really just enjoyed the um, content that we did. Unfortunately, um, I, I I did well in my third year. I my average was seventy five um, for third year, but my average for second year was I think sixty two. So um, combined, they my average wasn't high enough to get in for medicine from there. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna do honors in physiology because I really enjoyed the physiology. So. 
I applied for honours and I got in for honours and um, I really enjoyed my honours year. It was much more challenging than I anticipated. I thought, oh, we don't really have that many lectures and I'm going to have so much more time. But the scientific reading and writing really like hit me hard. Um, but I got to work with goats. My honours research was in goat thermoregulation. So that was really interesting and something I never thought that I would ever do. And I had a really good relationship with all five of my goats. And um, yeah, despite it being a very stressful year, I enjoyed it and I finished the year with a 71 average. So that combined with my um, third year major was good enough for me to get accepted into medicine. Um, I just want to quickly discuss the WAPT. So um, I was exempt from writing the WAPT uh, because in my second year, um, I'm not sure if the rules have changed, but when I was there, um, if you had an average of 60 um, for the year in second year and you had done biomedical science, you didn't have to write the WAP test. So fortunately for me, I did have um, an average above 60. So I didn't have to write the WAP and I'm so grateful that I um, didn't have to go through the stress of that because um, I think the stress of having to study a degree while simultaneously trying to study for WAP is quite hard, but people have done it. And um, I think if you work really hard, you can do it. <laughs> So, yeah, if I can give any advice, it would be that um, if you are doing biomed, that you work really hard to just get an average of 60 so that you can exempt the WAPT. I know that if you don't exempt the WAPT and you have to write it, there are a ton of really helpful resources available. The AMP for WAPT group is apparently really, really great. So there is help. And I find that... Um, most of the time, the students are very helpful and, um, you know, they want to share their knowledge. So if you just ask, usually people will be nice and friendly and help you. Um, and so, yeah, then I got into medicine and I was so ecstatic. I was so happy. Um, and uh, obviously, um, being in third year now, my first year of medicine, um, hasn't been a normal experience because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um so I feel like I haven't really experienced what it's like to be a proper medical student at BITS um, because of all the disruptions and the anxiety and the uncertainty and everything. But I am still very, very honored um, to be studying this degree. I think it is such a privilege to be able to study um, medicine and work towards a profession where you're helping people every day and, you know, diagnosing and treating patients and you know, hopefully helping them and improving their quality of life. I think it's such an honor and a privilege. And I just want to say, um, if you are really passionate about becoming a doctor and studying medicine, don't give up. It, you know, it, it can get really hard after you face rejection, after rejection, after rejection. But um, I really believe that um, if you work really, really hard and you have faith, everything will work out. And if it doesn't work out either um, there is another plan for you that is even better suited for you or you just need you just need an extra push and I think you know you should never give up I know it's very discouraging sometimes but um, I wish I could just go back a few years and just tell myself all this work that you're putting in it's going to be worth it you're going to get there um, but obviously you don't know that um, at the time so yeah, I just, I hope that this um, video has encouraged you and maybe helped you. I also just wanted to say, um, just to speak about MBTs, because I feel like that was also another reason why I didn't really get in um, straight after high school. Um, MBTs are really important to get into medicine. And um, I know like where I was from in the Eastern Cape, we literally like booked a date and we went and wrote. And I know that in Joburg, and I'm not sure anywhere else, um, but I know in Joburg that they have like MBT classes, they have MBT pass papers. So I feel like if you can get your hands on those MBTs and do well, that also comes a lot in your favor. So um, yeah, I think that was just the last thing that I wanted to add that I wish I had known about. Um, so yeah, I just hope that um, this video helped someone or will encourage someone who's feeling 
down and despondent to not give up. And yeah, I hope you guys all stay safe and good luck with everything. Thanks. <laughs> Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.